Hello everybody, welcome back to programming in python.com. Here in this video, I am going to start a new series called patterns. There are different types of patterns like Freud triangle, uh, triangle with just stars and all, and all such things. So, so I will make videos on all such patterns. So here to start with, I will start with Freud's triangle. Uh, this is a pattern where it just looks like a right angle triangle. In the first column, you'll have one, and the next column will have two rows, that is two and three. In the next column, we'll have three rows, four, five, and six, like this. In the next column, we'll have seven, eight, nine, and ten. So here, the range of the triangle is four, that is, this is the first column, second column, third column, and fourth column. And in every column, each number will be incrementing. It starts with one, two, three, and the next column, four, five, six, and so on. This is basically a Floyd triangle. If you go to the next column, it becomes 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, like this. So this is basically a call a Floyd triangle, which is a right angle triangle. We can also print the same triangle with uh, stars, like this. In the first column, we'll have one star. In the second column, we'll have two stars, three stars, like this. This is also uh, a Floyd triangle pattern. So here in this video, I'm going to tell you how to implement both of this using the numbers and using stars as well. So let's start programming this. So first I will ask the size of the triangle that is the range. Uh, that would be int obviously and I will uh, input, I will ask from the user that is we need to use input here. Enter the, enter the range and next we'll uh, run a for loop for i in range uh, 1 to this uh, size plus uh, 1 as range function ignores the last element it takes the element before it so we need to give if you want to loop from uh, 1 to this uh, uh, range number we need to add a plus 1 here so that uh, loops from 1 to that particular number And here, and here in the loop, this size is for column looping. That is, if we give a size of four, there will be four columns. So, and next we use another for loop for uh, row looping for j in range. This would be one to i plus one. That is the next number from one to the next number, so that uh, we can increment the values if you are using numbers 1 in the first column and in the second column we need to have 2 and 3 that is the reason we use this uh, uh, from i initially we will uh, take a variable called k we will uh, initialize it with 1 and here uh, we will print that k so we will print k and here uh, we will print that k so we will print k and we'll use another parameter called end that is equal to space this end equal to space uh, what it means is uh, by default the print function this is the print function right this print function by default takes n parameter slash n that is uh, uh, slash n that means it takes into the new line so here we don't want to go to the new line we want space instead of this uh, new line so we will give space so that this print function takes the n parameter space as you know by default uh, if we just give the print it uh, goes to the next line we don't want that so we use this n parameter and give it as space now we will increment the k and now we will uh, so this printers this prints us the row row in the sense this one uh, star is first column and star star is uh, uh, second columns and these two stars this uh, j loop is responsible for uh, printing this uh, uh, two stars or three stars in next line like this this uh, inner j loop is responsible for that and this outer j loop is responsible for this uh, number of rows this is number of columns this is the first column second column and third column so this i loop is for uh, this and this j loop is for uh, this inner uh, rows. So now 
we'll just after that uh, each line we need to after each row we can uh, use this uh, slash n so that it goes to the next line now we can run this and see let's see what happens enter the range i'll give as 5 you can see the first row it prints 1 in the second row it prints 2 and 3 in the third row it prints 4, 5 and 6, in the fourth column it prints 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this is the uh, Floyd's triangle pattern. This is the first column, first row, first column, second column, third column, fourth column and fifth column. That is the range and in each column we will see the incrementing values. So this is how the Floyd triangles can be printed using these uh, numbers. You can see here we will just use uh, Okay, and uh, incremented the value so that uh, the numbers should be incremented. If you want to print a star, we'll just copy this here. Instead of we don't need this k at all, as we don't need to increment numbers, and we'll print uh, here a star. So now let me run this again and see. Actually, we need to keep this in uh, quotations, I mean single quotations or double quotations. Now I will run and see again. The range five. You can see here, this one is with numbers and this one is with stars. In the first column, one star. In the second column, two stars. In the third column, three stars. Fourth column, four stars. And fifth column, five stars. That is. So this represents a Floyd triangle with uh, stars and this represents a Floyd triangle with numbers. This is how we can uh, print this uh, uh, Floyd triangle pattern. So that's it for this video. In the future videos, I'll uh, make videos on other different patterns using triangles and with numbers and with uh, formatted numbers and all such things. So that's it for this video. Also look at the description below. There I'll post the link to the github and also my original blog post programming in python.com link and also some uh, medium resources and also some of my facebook pages, github pages, twitter account and all those things. So, so also keep an eye on the description. So if you like this video please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, give it a like, comment. Stay tuned for more videos from programming in python.com. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel, watch another video, and visit our webpage.